Lesson 16. Essence and Fundamental Principle of Revolutionary Movement. This lesson we are going to study the essence and fundamental principle of the revolutionary movement. Essence of the revolutionary movement is that it is an organized struggle of the masses to defend and realize their independence. President Kim Il-sung said, the revolution is essentially an organized struggle for defending and realizing the independence of the masses. The revolutionary movement is the struggle to defend and realize the popular masses' independence. It is an intrinsic demand of the masses to live and develop independently as masters of nature, society, and themselves, free from all sorts of subjugation and fetters. Revolutionary struggle is the struggle of the masses to bring such intrinsic demand into reality. Revolutionary movements are diverse in kind and form. However, all of them are to make the masses realize independence free from national and class domination and subjugation, social inequality, and all other factors and subordinations. National Liberation Revolution is to liquidate the imperialist colonial rule and restore sovereignty of a country and nation. People's Democratic Revolution is to remove the imperialists and their stooges and old feudal forces and establish the people's democratic system, thus making the popular masses masters of the society. Socialist Revolution is to put an end once and for all to the exploitation of man by man and the operation of class by class and to realize socio-political independence of the popular masses. The popular masses continue making revolution even after the establishment of socialist system. This is to defend the already gained socio-political independence, eliminating everything old left by the exploited society and realize their complete independence. The revolutionary movement to realize the popular masses' independence is the positive struggle to fundamentally transform all sorts of outdated and reactionary ones and create new and progressive ones. The revolutionary movement is organized struggle of the popular masses. It means that it is not the movement made spontaneously or sporadically, but the struggle conducted by the popular masses who are awakened with the advanced ideas and united into a political force. The revolutionary movement is the struggle of the popular masses awakened to advanced ideas. If they fail to be armed with advanced ideas, the popular masses cannot struggle for independence even though their independence is infringed and restricted. The popular masses can be firmly united into one political force on the basis of ideological communists only when they are awakened to advanced ideas. The revolutionary movement is the struggle of the popular masses united into one political force. The popular masses can defend and realize their independence, liquidating the old and reactionary and creating the new only when they are united into one political force and conduct struggle. In the long period of history, the masses have always conducted struggle for independence by relying on unity and cooperation. The highest form of organized struggle conducted by the popular masses by relying on genuine unity is the revolutionary movement made under the leadership of the party and the leader. The popular masses are awakened and organized by the leadership of the party and the leader and thus embark on the true road of revolution to defend and realize their independence. The Zutti idea elucidated the main contents of the revolutionary movement on a scientific basis. President Kim Il-sung said, It is claimed by some people that revolution means merely overthrowing the old social system and establishing a new one, but we do not share their opinion.
replacing the old with the new in the fields of ideology, technology, and culture is also a revolution. One of the main contents of the revolutionary movement is to establish a new social system after overthrowing the old one. Old social system is the social fetus restricting social political independence of the masses. The reactionary exploiter class oppresses and exploits the masses and infringes upon and obliterates their social political independence by relying on the old social system. Social political independence cannot be realized unless the old one is overthrown and a new social system is established. Therefore, the revolutionary movement that liquidates the old, restricting the masses' independence, and creates the new, is in content the struggle to overthrow the old social system and establish a new one. Since the beginning of class society, the whole process of human history was the history of the masses' struggle to overthrow the old social system and establish a new one, that is, the history of social revolution for social political independence of the masses. Slave system was replaced with feudal system by the struggle of slaves, and the feudal system was replaced with capitalist system by serfs, peasants, and other exploited working masses. It was the progress in the masses' struggle for independence, but it was not the abolition of class domination and oppression itself, but only a replacement in the form of exploiting and oppressing the masses. Liquidation of capitalist system and establishment of a new socialist system by the struggle of the working class and other masses of the working people liquidates ultimately the exploitation and oppression of men by men and realizes the masses social political independence thus bringing about a fundamental turn in social position and role of the masses accordingly the revolution for establishing socialist system becomes the highest phase of the revolutionary movement whose content is to replace social system and the revolution to change system began in the exploited society ends with the establishment of the socialist system. Another of the main contents of the revolutionary movement is to change the old into the new in the field of ideology, technology, and culture. Even after the old exploiter system is liquidated and the socialist system established, factors restricting the popular masses' independence remain in different fields of social life for a certain historical period. The main factors restricting the masses' independence in socialist system are the ideological, technical, and cultural backwardness, the leftovers of the old society. The popular masses can completely win their independence, free from all sorts of factors, only when they liquidate the old and outmoded in the fields of ideology technology and culture, and steadily create the new advanced ideology and culture and developed technology. That is why the revolutionary movement conducted by the popular masses after the establishment of socialist system is in its content the struggle to change the old into the new in the field of ideology, technology, and culture. The revolutionary movement that is made to abolish everything old in the fields of ideology, technology, and culture and realize complete independence of the masses is the three revolutions. The revolutionary movement of changing the old social system into the new one and the revolutionary movement of changing the old in the fields of ideology, and technology, and culture have certain differences. In view of the contents of realizing independence of the masses, the revolutionary movement of changing the old social system into the new one is to realize the masses' social political independence by liberating them from national and class subjugations. But the three revolutions are to realize complete independence of the masses 
by liberating them from the fetters of outdated ideology, culture, and nature. The target of the struggle in the revolutionary movement to change social system is the social force, the reactionary exploited class, who is interested in retaining the old social system, whereas the targets of the struggle in the three revolutions are the old ideology, outdated technology and culture, the leftovers of exploited society. In view of the mode and way of carrying out the revolutionary movement, the revolutionary movement of changing the old social system into the new one is carried out by violence and based on means of violence. However, as it is the revolutionary movement to be carried out after the establishment of an advanced social system, the three revolutions are implemented in the way of educating and remolding the people, that is, the way of liquidating the old in the fields of ideology, technology and culture and creating the new. In view of the term of carrying out the revolutionary movement, the massive revolutionary struggle to transform the social system begins with the struggle to overthrow the old social system and ends when the socialist system is established after the victory in the socialist revolution. The three revolutions begin partially from the first period of building a new society by the popular masses who seized power are carried out comprehensively after the establishment of socialist system and make progress in the whole period of socialist construction. Ultimate aim of the revolution is not only to establish a new social system, but to enable the popular masses to realize their independence free from all sorts of fetters and suffocations. The Zuti idea explains the basic principle of the revolutionary movement on a scientific basis. Basic principle of revolution gives explanation to the basic problems of revolution in construction. The most basic problem is who is the master and motive force of the revolution in construction. Leader Kim Jong-il said, the Zuti idea propounded the basic principle that the masses of the people are masters and the motive force of the revolution in construction and, on this basis, rendered it possible to evolve new revolutionary theories required by our time. The basic principle of the revolutionary movement is that the masses of the people are masters and motive force of the revolution and construction. The principle that the masses of the people are masters of the revolution and construction explains the position occupied by them in the revolution and construction. That the popular masses are masters of the revolution in construction means that they are the direct performers shouldering the responsibility and rights of carrying out the revolution in construction. As the revolution in construction are for the masses of the people, they demand the revolution construction and have vital interests in the revolution and construction. The popular masses have the direct responsibility for carrying out the revolution in construction as they are the masters in the revolution in construction. The principle that the popular masses are the motive force of the revolution in construction clarifies the role played by the masses in the revolution in construction. That they are the motive force of the revolution in construction means that they are the decisive force pushing ahead with the revolution in construction. In other words, it means that it is not objective conditions nor individuals, but the popular masses that play important role in pushing ahead the revolution in construction with victory. The masses of the people have revolutionary ability, the inexhaustible creative strengths capable of pushing ahead the revolution in construction. The masses inexhaustible creative strengths and wisdom are the main factor in settling all issues arising in the revolution and construction. The basic principle of the masses of the people are the masters and motive force of the revolution in construction reflects the demands of the independent era 
in which the destiny of the masses is shaped out with the country and nation as a unit. That the masses of the people are the masters and motive force of the revolutionary construction expounds that the masters of the revolutionary construction in each country are the masses of the people in that country and nation, and that they are the motive force propelling forward the revolutionary construction in each country. Thank you for this lesson. Next lesson, we will study the law of the revolutionary movement.